Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Got a question here, came in on the comments of one of the videos. Uh, this is MS Soundra, YouTube username. Hi bro, now the Canon 6D Mark II has come to market. Can you recommend now? I wanna buy that camera. Please give your views on that camera. Well, I like the 6D Mark II. Uh, at the moment, I probably myself have a hard time buying into that camera at the moment, unless it was for a specific need, simply because I want 4K in my cameras. I'm shooting this with the Panasonic G85, a fantastic little 4K camera. The 6D Mark II came to market at a time when it should have had 4K, when it was introduced. There was behind the scenes. It wasn't, it was on an older camera where nobody had 4K. Lots of cameras had 4K and the Canon still choose to put out the 6D Mark II without it. So I think that was a bit of a, a lack of judgment on their part. Um, but short of that, yeah, no reason not to recommend it. Good resolution, great performing full frame sensor. Um, a lot of people, if you're into vlogging, think it's the ultimate vlogging camera. I think it was Tony Northrup just said that. Uh, Peter McKinnon has enjoyed it. I remember him doing some videos on it and really likes it for vlogging and, and other use. Um, I think even Casey Neistat's really gotten into it, which isn't surprising because his uh, brother from another mother, uh, Peter McKinnon's been using it. So, um, yeah, a lot of people really positive on that. I like the camera. As I said, the only caveat is it's not 4K. As long as you're not, that's not a deal killer for you, which it tends to be for me, especially at this point with everything going 4K, um, then yeah, by all means. Try and get a good deal on it. Maybe you can get a refurb. Maybe you can get a used one. Um, but if you're looking to do video or vlogging, it's decent. Just remember, it's not 4K. For vlogging, not such a big deal, but 4K is getting to be something I always want to be shooting most of my stuff in 4K. It doesn't have it, um, but still a good video machine if 1080 is okay for you. And as far as image quality, um, it's a full-frame Canon sensor, great resolution. It's 26 megapixels. Um, lots of resolution there, lots of goodness in that full-frame sensor, you know, full-frame sensor, larger photo sites, better performance in general, all else being equal than APS-C crop sensors. So, and you get the access to that fantastic Canon lens arsenal. I would put a 24 to 105 f4L on there if it were me, and an 85 f1.8, probably even add a 70 to 200 f4L, maybe even a non-IS if I wanted to save money, although it's nice to have the IS. Um, that's probably the immediate setup I would get for that. Uh, let me throw it back to you guys. Do you agree with me? Is the 6D Mark II a good camera with the caveat of the 4K? Would you buy one at this point in time? Would you not? What would you do? Let us know in the comments below. Would you go for the, the 6D Mark II? Do you recommend it? Um, do you? What lenses would you shoot with it if you're going to get it? Let us know that too in the comments below. Do you own it? Can you give us some feedback? Um, what lenses are you shooting with yours? Let's help out our viewer. It's always great to get you guys' feedback. Uh, rounds out the experiences and the feedback and the opinions. Gives our, a lot of times when you're thinking about what to buy here, um, sometimes you guys will bring up something I'd missed or hadn't thought of, and it really helps our viewers uh, figure things out, especially when they're opening up their wallet and uh, parting with some hard-earned cash. Thanks for your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.